Welcome to another PhotoReflex software tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to publish your first event. I have my PhotoReflex software open and I'm beginning this process in the Events tab. Enter in the required information indicated by the green text on your Event Details page. The Customer Information page is for your personal records and will not be visible to your customers. The Customer Notification page is set up to make it easy for you to notify your customers when their event is available for ordering. If email addresses are added or imported from a spreadsheet, the recipients will be notified that their event is online upon publishing. The Event Pricing page is next. If you have taken the time to set up your custom pricing, discount, and shipping groups for your account, you will notice them in the drop-down menu. If you haven't customized your pricing groups yet, don't worry, we have set up default groups that you can use now and update later if you wish. On the Security and Expiration page, you can enable a password to access the photos, set an expiration date alerting your customers they have limited time to order, and apply a watermark to your images. PhotoReflex strongly recommends that you apply a watermark to increase your photo security. After selecting Add Photos, a window appears that will allow you to browse your system for the location of the image files you wish to add to the event. After the import completes, you are ready to publish to your PhotoReflex storefront. To view your storefront with a new published event, select the Storefront tab or open a browser and enter in your storefront web address. You can see that your event has been published and your customers are able to start ordering. As you can see, publishing an event to your online storefront is simple with the PhotoReflex software. If you have additional questions about publishing, please stay for the rest of this video where I'll explain more advanced features of our software, or email us your question to support at photoreflect.com. So let's start out with a new event so I can show you some of the features we skipped over earlier in the video. Scheduled publishing is a feature you can enable in the event details page. For example, if you are shooting a large event in which you are adding photos on the fly and you wanted the images up as fast as possible, you can configure the event to publish every five minutes. Or, let's say you are a studio photographer who has multiple clients a day. You schedule each event to be uploaded at 6 p.m. at night, so if you forget to publish one of your client's sessions, the software will do it for you. The next feature is on the Security and Expiration page. Enabling event access will require your customer to provide information before entering the event. Right now, you can see it is set to normal, but you can set this up to require your customer to provide an email address or log into a PhotoReflect customer account before accessing the event. Typically, when a photographer wants to utilize event access, they do so for marketing purposes. We provide reports in your PhotoReflect Manager tab that will allow you to see any email address entered. You can also turn on data settings here. This allows your photos to be searchable on your storefront based on the information you provide. Let's say you are shooting a marathon. You can add a data field called bib number and then add each bib number to the photo. When your customer goes to this event, they will be prompted to enter their bib number and it will take them directly to their photo set. We provide a more in-depth tutorial on this feature in our other videos. Another great tool we offer is the ability to monitor a folder on your computer. This feature is best utilized if you have a steady stream of images from your event that you would like available online as soon as possible. Many photographers use this feature to ensure their customers are able to view their photos while the event is still in progress. After selecting my event, I am right-clicking the mouse to reveal the drop-down menu and selecting Import from Folder. I locate the folder that will be receiving images and opt for the Auto Import and Auto Publish options. With these two selected, the software knows to regularly check this folder, and when it detects changes, the images are imported to the event and published to my online storefront. It's important to remember this feature only imports from the designated folder when the software is open and can only complete publishing if you are connected to the internet. Here are a few finer points of publishing that can further support your business. Sometimes uploading a large event takes time. If you have time to publish the event but are not yet ready for your customers to begin ordering, upon publishing, deselect the Make Visible option. 
This way, your photos are published but will not be viewable by your customers until you are ready to make them available. When you're ready, simply republish, ensuring the Make Visible option is selected. In cases where you have spent time publishing a larger event but now see that you need to correct one or more photos on your storefront, after correcting, right-click the image, choosing Update on Publish. Once I republish the event, the software knows to only republish the images that I have marked to update. This feature makes updating individual photos on an event much more efficient. Republishing an event is applicable in all cases where there have been changes to the photos, pricing, event access, or expiration date. In short, when there are any changes to the event, republishing will ensure those changes are reflected on your storefront. Finally, here's a trick for photographers who want to ensure their customers know an event is coming soon, but do not yet have the images available. In cases like this, you may elect to publish the event without images, which will show your customer the event is coming soon. When they select the event on your storefront, they will have the option to enter in their email address to be notified when you have published photos to the event. Thank you for learning how to publish to your PhotoReflect storefront using the PhotoReflect Publisher software. If you have additional questions, we are here to help. Email our customer care team at support at photoreflect.com. dress.